Spencer. How's everybody doing? Good. Hey. It's good to see you guys. Well, we've got a big crowd in here today. It's pretty exciting. You guys nervous? Are you, are you nervous? You are? No, you're not nervous, are you? Nah, I didn't think so. So how's everybody doing? Good. Good. Yeah, it's really me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get my pastor to come. Oh, oh. To, just to keep me straight, right? <laughs> so how do you guys do it, Chuck? Wonderful. Doing fine. Well, who is this August group? Although I actually know. Uh, <laughs> well, welcome. This is uh, the STEM Fair uh, Winners Recognition Program, and uh, uh, STEM Fair is critical to uh, the water department and, and the water industry. Uh, you know, the students of today have to meet the the future challenges of safe drinking water, which is becoming ever uh, more and more prevalent in the news. And there is a lot of science, technology, engineering, and math involved in producing water. When I first started out uh, in the water industry, it was completely by accident. I started out as an aerospace engineer. But because of some mix-up in, in the college courses, I would have had to skip a semester. That means you flunked. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't yeah. let him kid you. It's, uh, at any, we're happy he did. We got him at any rate, all my friends were in civil engineering, so that's where I went. I ended up doing an internship at a water treatment plant, and I stayed there for 20 years, so it was a long time. I just recently moved here to Tampa, and uh, it's been Welcome. my pleasure working uh, for the water department here at the city of Tampa. Uh, the city of Tampa uh, uh, does over a thousand analysis every year, every month. Uh, to test our water for water quality. Uh, they won the uh, uh, Director's Award for the Partnership for Safe Drinking Water, and we always try to stay ahead of regulations and do more than just what's required. We're very proud of the quality of our water, and we're very proud of the services we provide our citizens. So with that, I'll, I'll let the mayor take it good, away here, good. do some presentations. Well, congratulations, everybody, to the students. This is pretty exciting stuff. I think all of us, uh, Particularly lately, when you pick up the paper and you read about Flint, Michigan and that awful situation up there, you realize how important uh, clean, fresh drinking water is. I mean, that's an entire city who, for a lot of reasons, none of them were good, um, has really affected the, uh, the lives of many of the children there because they, uh, they didn't live up to their obligations to their citizens and they took shortcuts. And the end result is uh, you've got some kids there that potentially could be sick for the rest of their lives. So. Um, we're excited about what you guys have done. This is a great honor. You competed with a lot of other kids around the community. And the fact that you all have emerged as the winners says a lot about, uh, about who you are and the amount of work that you put into this. And, and what did you win, sweetie? <laughs> you won the, the best little sister award? <laughs> That's what I thought. I have all girls at home, too. That's why I work 18 hours a day, <laughs> seven days a week. Yes, yeah, I love her. She just nods her head. Mine, mine used to do that to me too, but now they're 14 and now. So um, we're going to give some certificates here to the winners and uh, we're going to take some pictures. And uh, we just want you to know how proud we are of all of you. And congratulations. And I, I know to all the moms and the dads and the grandmas and the grandpas around here, um, you had something to do with this as well. Uh, so congratulations for keeping them on task. and. Uh, Hopefully these are the scientists of the future and the water experts of the future because water is probably the most important issue facing the state of Florida. You wouldn't think so because we sit on basically a, a, uh, a pool of water called the aquifer. Uh, but as the more we grow, the more demand there is on water and the more demand there is for clean water. And particularly in the big cities, we have very, very old pipes. Some of the pipes that these guys have to deal with are 100 years old. And how many breaks do we have a day, Brad? Eight, eight, eight breaks a day in the city just because the pipes are so old um, and the federal government doesn't support us like they used to in terms of funding for uh, rebuilding our infrastructure. But, so it's a very, very important issue for us. So congratulations to all of you. Welcome to the mayor's office. I know some of you are sizing up the, uh, the curtains and you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, one day one of you will be here because I'm only going to be here for another three years. Um, actually, if you move out of the way, young man, I'm going to be here for 1,139 days. 
17, 17 minutes and now nine seconds. So y'all just waste. You guys just wasted about uh, five minutes of my tenure here. So. No. I only I put that there. That's my countdown clock. Not because I want to leave, um, because they're gonna have to pry my cold dead fingers off the desk when I do leave. But just so our folks here know that there's a sense of urgency about getting stuff done, because that's all the time we have left as mayor. You'll have a new mayor in three years. So anyway. Could be one of you. So let's do it, Chuck. All right. So we'll start uh, with the uh, elementary division award. Uh, oh, there's a gift card for the mayor. <laughs> it's very nice of y'all to, to do this for me. <laughs> I don't want to have to read about that tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So hopefully these are in order. Uh, so these three students from Bing Elementary, their project was designed to test pH levels in bottled water. Uh, first up, uh, Shania Harris. I actually knew E.L. Bing. Come here, Shania. Come here, Shania. Does it really look like me? Okay. The expression on her face was priceless when I came in. Like she had just seen a ghost or something. All right, who's taking pictures? Me. Okay. Shania, look at me. She'd rather look at me. Come on. All right, Christina, you take yeah. pictures. Good job, Shania. Uh, on that team as well, Manaya Duckett. Yay. 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 What grade are you guys in? Fifth. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fifth grade. Next up in the junior division, Amaya Luzundar. Come on. This project. This project was uh, designed yeah, yeah. to find ways to decontaminate water quickly so every household can have fresh water. And last up in the senior division, Margaret Parrish. All right. Her project was designed to see if less expensive uh, portable uh, enterococci testing device could be used in place of very expensive commercial kits and laboratory equipment to test for unsafe water in remote areas. I don't even know what a terracotta is. <laughs> but I know there's a lot of it going on at City Council. <laughs> Thank you for the Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Oh, one more day. One more. This was for the district. So. All right. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.